So today, I'm doing the wall weapon only challenge on every single zombies game from World of War to Vanguard. Now, the rules are pretty simple, I can only use guns that are on the wall, alright? And now, although this sounds pretty easy, for some games, it actually got kind of challenging. But before the video starts, please subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to hit 20k by the end of the month, which is in like 2 days. And if we do hit 20k by the end of the month, I'll do a big stream for like 24 hours or something. But other than that, let's jump right into our first game. Alright boys, so onto our first game, we have World of War, and the map I picked is Shinonuma. Now, the reason I picked Shinonuma is pretty much because I've just over used to Reese, all right? Like, I know that it has the Pack-a-Punch. I know that would make my life, like, 10 times easier, but, you know, boys, life's about challenges, all right? Uh, so, I've gone ahead and bought this Arasaki, you know, I'm not even going to use the M1911. Now, I think this challenge should go okay, especially for Shinonuma, because there's only 24 zombies around, so, all right, I'm going to try and stay in the spawn room for pretty much as long as I can, because I know for a fact the second I open up that door, the spawns are going to get real messed up, all right? Like, zombies are going to start spawning, like, halfway across the map, bro. I've, I've come to that conclusion throughout all of these challenge videos, right? World of War has got the worst spawns ever. Actually, grim but anyways on to round three so basically the way i want this video to work is i'll try and last for as long as i can but if i do reach round 20 we'll just move on to the next game because i don't want to drag our game super long machine numa we should reach round 20 i'll settle for round 15 though all right i'm actually too good at being a marksman bro honestly like i always get those warzone one-shot headshots bro it is arasaka low-key kind of sucking some cheeks right now so i'm gonna go ahead and open up this door here and just turn this corner there is the thompson i'm gonna go ahead and buy that how oh, quick i'm a car lap these zombies right they don't even stand a chance now all right we're on to round five boys we're one quarter of the way there i'm gonna start opening up here and we need to get jug as soon as possible because dog rounds might be a bit scary it could be a dog round now actually is it nah we're all good i actually can't even hear my own game audio like, that's 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 not even normal bro usually at least i can hear it all right we got speed color that's kind of an l i'm not even gonna lie to be honest, i'm really just in like need of jug i kind of wanted to try and get it before the dog round i, I just said that why have i why am i repeating myself but all right boys i guess we'll try the doctor's quarters next all right what's in door number two boys we have our oh, quick revive the most are pointless perk in this game oh, especially for solo all right boys what is going to be behind door number three all right let's go find out we've got a 50 50 chance here <laughs> of getting jug so let's see if my luck is on my side today all right is it and it is it is all right there we go boys you know what not too bad so let's just hope uh, that there isn't a dog round until at least round like seven I'm looking just walking back there like bro speed up all right boys on to round six is it going to be a dog round am i going to have to squeak up all right dog round isn't this round okay so we have this round to get 2500 points so we can buy jug okay let's go ahead and grab this nuke and that should give us enough points to buy jug there we go boys all right we bought it oh i also bought the mp40 i'm actually in debt boys <laughs> i'm i'm literally in debt i mean i kind of wish i switched up my arasaka and not my thompson but we just got a negative 810 points you know what it is gotta repay my debt real quick all right dog round actually easy bro it wasn't even sweating it. light work no reaction as they say but we're going on to round eight not doing too bad i want to try and rebuy back that thompson because i think those will be my two like primary weapons for this video for this map at least sorry I'm going to be using the Thompson bro in BO1 or BO2. All right, boys, that is taking us on the round nine, bro. We're making it out these ends. I guess the next thing I should do is probably just save up for um, the speed cola. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was that one over there. So I guess we'll just start doing that. Get myself all set up. All right, you know what it is. We don't mess around here on the Renzaru channel, all right? There's a Type 100. I don't think it's any good, though. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Oh, bro, these zombies are on me, though. Actually, you know what? I lie there. I do want the Type 100. I'm going into debt again, boys. Wait, okay, never mind. I didn't actually manage to go into debt again. Wait, what happened, bro? What did I do differently? All right halfway there right we're not doing too bad the guns haven't dropped off too much i feel like once we get to 15 we'll start noticing like a, a real difference but again all right the, the, these are both wall guns right i can just keep buying ammo for it. why i need to start really trying to like save up my points but right, and speaking about points all right cheeky little double points that's gonna come here massive oh my god bro i gotta be careful right because there's no rook jug all right not like last time where i just like survived like a million hits this time i gotta strategize <laughs> oh my god bro i'm just sneezing i bet you jump scared some of you guys <laughs> oh, there's a second one bro oh my god nah bro i'm feeling a third one but i don't want to come out. I actually hate that, right? When you know you want to sneeze, but then it's just like, nah, it's trolling me. Right, top five things I hate about the human body. All right, hopefully this will be the end of round 11. Yo, there we go, boys. Actually making it out of these ends. All right, dog round done. Didn't even sweat it, boys. Yo, we're, we're literally about to go to round 13. All right, we're actually doing better than I thought. Like, for war at war, I didn't think we were going to last very long. I won't lie. All right, I doubt, right? But, you know, why would I doubt myself, bro? You buy some bounce, bouncing Betty. That's what it's called. I place them in this little corner here. Never even going to see it coming. This is pretty much my strategy. Uh, I'm just literally just going to run around in a circle and just like go to town boys what's nice right is like once they're all spawned in like that's it there'll be no more just finish them all off or big cheeky little nuke but that is the end of round 13 all right as i said all right 24 zombies around i'm gonna grab this nuke also grab the insta kill okay so i think we're definitely gonna make it around 15 bro with this insta kill we're making it oh my god okay we nearly got caught up there in that little corner but we're making it out of these ends right we're on to round 15 right, i'm gonna keep stockpiling up some bounce and betty's all right honestly i don't even have to train up bro if i just go for headshots actually easy is that round 16 that is round 16 bro all right we're on to our 
our next dog round, boys. I think this will be our final dog round for this uh, for this game, actually. Oh my god, dude, these dogs are actually tanky, bro. Oh my god, that, that actually just killed me, bro. There's no way. Bro, why were they not dying? I actually got way too cocky, bro. Oh my god, that actually sucks, bro. We are full rounds off our, like, objective, bro. Like, our goal. Oh, that actually sucks. Well, either way, that's World of War done. Let's just move on to our next game, which is Black Ops 1. Right then, boys, so on to Black Ops 1. Now, I don't know why I'm playing Shangri-La, uh, if I want to try and actually get a decent round, but basically, uh, I was talking to the boys, and I said, you know, pick a random BO1 map, and of course, they picked Shangri-La. So, I I'm sticking to my word, all right, I'm doing Shangri-La. I think I'd be lucky if I even made it to maybe, like, <laughs> to, like round 10. We'll see, all right? I'll just set an end objective to where, I, like, I'm going to move on to the next team. I never said anything about, you know, minimum or anything like that, you know? Who knows, right? It actually might go all right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doubting myself, but I'm actually too good at this, bro. I'm already on to round three, all right? I love playing Shangri-La because I can see all the little monkeys. A monkey make my little eight brain go happy, but dude, I don't know if there's any, like, good, uh, like, wall buys in BO1. They're all kind of shit, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie, so. Plus, there's no training spots here, so I genuinely am, like, screwed. Bro, what the f Bro, this monkey robbed me, bro. Actual clown behavior. Yo, yeah, do some backflips, bro. Do some backflips. Yo, go crazy, bro. Yo, do a backflip. Do a backflip. Yo, yo, bro, it's like levitating. What the fuck? Yo, bro's in the back with you. Let's go, monkey. Oh, actually, I guess I can buy quick revive now. So that might help quite a bit. Let's make our way out of here. We got the jug side. Let's go, boys. You know, we don't mess around with that. Okay, I guess we got the AK-74U. Plus, we can actually pack a bunch now, which is good. So maybe it won't go as bad as I thought. I don't know. Yeah, this M14 is getting pretty close. They're just running completely out of ammo. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this AK-74U here. Okay, where's this monkey at, bro? I know there's going to be a monkey coming for me, bro. Oh, where's he at? There he is, bro. Yeah, that's right. Give me that 500 points. All right, either way, let's continue to make our way through here. There's the M16. That's, I don't really want that, to be honest. Yeah, we got double points. There's gonna be another monkey, bro. Where's he at? See, whenever you get dropped, a monkey will spawn. It's not like obviously trying to chase it. And if you kill it before it touches you, you get 500 points. Uh, and because I had double points, I actually got a thousand points. You see, it's actually kind of like huge, to be honest. All right, but that should let us get to the power room. There we go. So let's go ahead and turn on the power. Now, I guess we've got like two, we got two options, really. We either start saving up for pack a punch or we try and get jug. Now, I feel like pack a punch at this stage is a little bit excessive. So I might just try and go for jug because we can always come back and buy ammo for the AK 74U. So it's not like a massive problem we do have the mpl i guess i could buy that as well just like point farm that's what i mean it just doesn't really feel like any of the weapons in a uh, black ops one are good oh my god okay we got a napalm zombie uh i don't really know how oh my god okay he's dead just blew up on me bro he's a creeper black ops one's grim reaper blowing up blocks like al-qaeda all right what do i want to do it's round six I guess we just point farm and just try and get a uh, back a punch i suppose like anything is is there's not really a good place to like train up it's gonna be kind of the issue to be honest i might just buy this mpl right and just kind of sit around here and just buy ammo because Going down to the case to buy ammo for the AK-74U is going to be a kind of risky, I'm not going to lie. At least if the MPL is just like there, it shouldn't be too bad. We can kind of make this work. Obviously, it's not like perfect, but now it will do. Oh, bro, why did I get a nuke there, dude? Actually, unlucky, but Wait, is that going to be a monkey? Oh, no, because it was just been blown up by the nuke, wasn't it? Unless, where's he at? Where's he at? This monkey got me stressing out. All right, we're on to round seven. That's the issue I have with Shangri-La. I never feel like I'm in a comfortable position. Oh my god, dude, we got a shrieker. He's got to go. We are running quite low on ammo, so I'm going to go buy some more. That's what I mean. Like, imagine if I was out of ammo with the AK-74. For you had to run all the way back down. I think this was definitely the right investment. So coming up on four thousand points, we need a thousand points away, and then we'll be able to uh, make some pack a punch. That's actually a massive double. Wait, well, we can do it this round actually, as long as I don't let the monkey touch me and we take out the monkey. See, look, it's a thousand. Look, we're at five thousand, boys. All right, let's go do it now. We can go pack a punch to your AK seventy four U. I want to say that's the best weapon to pack a punch in this situation, but uh, it is what it is. Even if it isn't, I think maybe the M sixteen might be better. I don't know. It doesn't really matter anyways. All right, so there we go. That should stop that head from turning. Now I'll open up pack a punch, and then all I gotta do is just make my way up here and then the pack a bunch is ours boys so let's go ahead and pack a bunch is ak-74 u there it is boys the ak-74 fu2 oh my god oh my god i gotta get back to my spot that was training and i still want a point farm so i can get myself another weapon and some perks so i'm not gonna itch the mpl quite yet oh my god there's actually a fucking new palm right in my way bro yo back off back off back off back off oh my god oh my god no 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 bro reload 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 how am i not dead oh my god go away monkey oh my god that napalm actually messed me over bro i'm not even gonna lie I'm not gonna lie i might have to buy um ghd flopper Okay, I'm going to buy this M16, and we'll have these as our two main weapons from now on. So, I want to pack a bunch another gun before I start buying, like, speed color and stuff like that, because, yeah, I don't know. I, if I die after buying perks first, it's like, I'm just going to lose them all, but with weapons, at least then I'll keep them, and I can kind of use that to get set up again. So, in my head, it makes a bit more sense, so we're, we're just going to do it this way. <laughs> right, I never thought I'd stress out this much, though. I'm round the nine of Shangri-La. Oh, my God, there's another napalm. Oh, my God, bro, you scared me, bro. Holy. I'm dead. I'm actually going to die, bro. Okay, oh, my God. He jump scared me, bro. I feel like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. Bro, he was a bit quirky, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Okay, we opened the pack a punch. We opened the pack a punch. I'm out. There's a monkey on the way, bro. You're back off at like the school, Christian. Okay, bro. How did that get that squeaky, bro? I know a lot of people decide they just like train up around the entire map, but bro, who do they actually think I am? I'm gonna train around the whole map. Oh my god, 
the streak at all. Oh, get lost, bro. Okay, let's buy us some speed cola. Make it out of these ends. And now I'm thinking of what I want as my last perk. I think I'm gonna go for stamina up. I know I said I was gonna go for PhD, but like, bro, it's it's PhD, bro. Like, it's it's not gonna be very useful for what I need it for. Where is this last zombie at? Bro, why aren't you spawning, bro? Plutonium is so buggy for spawns, but either way, we're making it onto a round 11 round. We're out of the tiny max now. All right, we've got we've got okay, we've got another napalm. Let's get him out of here, bro. All right, you know what? This napalm actually is working out for me. Okay, it's it's over now, but it was working out for me quite well. Dude, this map actually does look like so good for BO1. Like, it does look really good, but okay, I need to make sure I don't die, bro. These zombies trying to catch the beef. All right, I am running, like, actually really low on ammo. I didn't even realize how low I was actually getting. Now, I could just buy ammo, but it's like, bro, that's so expensive. Oh my god, where is this taking me? Get me out of here, bro. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out this AK for the MPL. The MPL is still doing it, right? Look at this, bro. And I can just buy ammo for it for like 500 points. MPL is actually on top. I'm gonna see if I can quickly buy stamina up before, you know, all the zombies come over here. All right, me repping this MPL, you know, I might have been speaking a bit too soon. Oh my god, okay, here comes the napalms. Oh, maybe I should have got PSC flopper. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. How am I not dead? How am I not dead? Oh, look at me out here, bro. How am I not dead, bro? Who is this guy, bro? Actually, can oh my god, cannot be stopped, bro. I actually 100 percent thought I was taking it down there. Right, that, that's us on the round 14, boys. Bro, this is probably just like not the best training spot for this ass all, but it's gotta make things work with. I'm gonna I feel another sneeze coming up. <laughs> oh, little jump scare boys. Okay, we're out of ammo again. That's always a good sign. Buy some more. We we're on our way, boys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, dude, boom, back off, back off, back off, back off, bro. Okay, that's our first down. That's not good. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to recover from this. Oh my god, dude. Boys, if I've ever thought something was the end, this is it. This is it. Oh my god. Yeah, we're dead. We're got oh my god, we made it out there. Okay, let's rebuy back quick revive. Hit me it, bro. Buy me, bro. <laughs> and make our way back through here. Let's rebuy back on Juggernog. Okay, we're kind of making it back out of his out of his ends. Okay, let's buy me some stamina. Oh my god. We just about squeaked our way. Oh, there's a per it's a dropper. I'm not really gonna risk it for a drop. Wait, what oh the monkey took it. Are you serious? Alright, let's buy back speed color. I'm all set up, boys. We're back in town. We're back in business. Let's take out these last two zombies here. There we go. Alright, so we're on to round 15. I'm gonna rebuy back some ammo for the school crusher because I feel like we're gonna need it at this point. Because the MPL is kind of starting to drop off quite a lot. So oh my god, oh my god, there's a shrieker. Oh my god, dude, I gotta go, I gotta go, bro. No. Oh, you're joking. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Shrieker, get lost, bro. All right, quick revive, quick revive. Let's buy that. Okay, game, just please take me to where I need to be. Oh my god, it's actually not gonna do it. All right, quickly, right, by speed color, by speed color. I think we now have the entire map pretty much opened up. Still no jug door. I'm trying, I need to get my jug, bro, but like so many doors. All right, let's buy ourselves some jug. And boys, I won't lie, it's not looking good for us. Somehow we've managed to match wall to wall, right? Oh my god, dude, this insta is actually huge, bro. Now, as long as I don't blow myself up, this is the best time to be using this grenade launcher. Oh my god, okay, I messed up using this grenade launcher here. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, clutch up, clutch up, clutch up. Come on, big clutch up. Yo, look at that, boys. Like a montage, bro. Oh my god. Bro, somehow we've managed to beat wall to wall on the BO1's hardest map, Shangri -La. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're about to die. I'm taking the minecart out of here, bro. Yo, what? what's good, guys? Yo, we taking this together? Yo, what's good, boys? Oh, it's my squad, bro. It's my squad. <laughs> Alright, let's buy us some uh, some ammo. Oh my god, okay, we got a nuke. Wait, are we gonna be able to make it to 20? I don't know, bro. Right, round 18, boys. Oh my god, okay. Hold on, we're not in the greatest spot. Right, I'm taking the minecart back out of here, bro. No, it's a max ammo there, no! Oh, bro, I was scammed. I don't even care about you guys, bro. You guys are little elves anyways. You're back off. Alright, you can stay. You're, you're, you're pretty cool, actually. Oh my god, and I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, dude, we were two rounds off. Oh, whatever. We spent so much time with Shangri-La. All right, well, either way, that is Black Ops 1 done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next game. All right, then, boys, so on to Black Ops 2, we got Buried. Come from the, one of the hardest maps to one of the easiest maps. So what's nice about Buried is obviously you can draw yourself a bunch of chalk. So that's kind of my plan, all right? So if I just go ahead, I, I got to make this jump, bro. You know I'm about to make it first try, though. Yo, you know we make those. Okay, if I just make my way down here, we can go ahead and pick us up a chalk. I don't know which one I want. I'm probably the A94, to be honest. It's like one of the better weapons. All right, let's go ahead and build this right here. And we'll pick that up. And there we go. So we have our first uh, wall weapon. I was going to say melee weapon, bro. Like, yo, I need to do the melee only challenge. Not again, please. All right, let's free Leroy. Let's get this little big boy out of here. Come on, get out of here, bro. All right, let's turn on the power. Bro, where are these zombies? I need some more kills. I need some more points, bro. Where are these guys out? Actually taking their time, bro. Right, I'm just going to open up this door over here and I'm going to make my way back to where the chalks were. All right, let's build the Gavin Knuckles here. I'll give me a thousand points. Bro, I just want to open this door, bro, but the zombies are actually taking their time. Oh my God, here he is finally. Bro was just walking. Like, what was the need? All right, let's make our way. Let's get ourselves the booze. There we go. Come on, Leroy. We got to make our move, bro. All right, I'm going to see if I can hit Jug from all the way back here. So come on, Leroy. Make, make, hurry up, bro. All right, and hold up. Line him up. Line him up. Line him up. Let's get him, boys. Come on, Leroy. Hit that shot. Hit that shot. Oh, my God. I, I haven't got high hopes about this. Okay, Leroy. Yo, yo. I had never doubted you for a second, Leroy. Never even doubted you, big man. All right, let's go ahead
Luke, bro. Right, I'm going to take Leroy over to the mansion. Because obviously, I can't really build like the um, trample steam. Or obviously, I can't fly over it with a paralyzer because they're not more weapons. So I'm going to need Leroy to break open this barricade here. Come on, bro. Why you got to just jump down, bro? All right, here we go. All right, we surely we can't mess that up. There we go. And then that'll let me get the pack a punch. And I can also get double tap. So I'll open that up just for now. And there we go, boys. We're under round six. Also, do you guys know, right, that Leroy won't run if you just shoot him with one bullet? Like, if you just like continue to shoot him with just one bullet, he'll never run, bro. The only way he runs if you shoot him again while he's in that like flinch state. If you shot him there, he'd, he'd run back to his cage. Now, just something to, you know, take away with you guys. You know, if you come away from this video knowing nothing, at least you'll know that, unless you've seen that before. But I think that deserves a sub, boys. You know, <laughs> hit that subscribe button, am I right? Uh, I'm, I'm getting no subscribers on this video now. All right, we're going on to round seven. I'm going to try and make my way through the witch's house. So I'm going to buy myself double tap. Right, there we go. Made it through. Didn't get hit a single time. I'm going to say I'm just a little gamer like that. But I want to make my way over to the gazebo, like, real quick. Oh my god, I wanted to get there before the last witch gets to me. Come on, surely this has to be the way. This is the way, boys. Oh, what is this, bro? Anyways, I wanted to do that and buy stamina up before this guy drops his uh, his last thing because I wanted that extra perk, you know? So now I guess it's all about saving up 5,000 points and just getting me, like, pack a bunch of weapons and stuff. So let's get to work on that, boys. All right, so we're going up onto round eight and we can pack a bunch of our weapons. So I'm going to pack a bunch of this PDW. Let's get me this last 5,000 points. But currently, we're making it through, boys. All right, round nine, boys. Honestly, I might just chill here from now because the spawns here are kind of mad. All right, let's pack a bunch of this AN94. And we go on to round 10, boys. You know what it is, multitasking. All right, round 11, boys. Yeah, I'm going to make a move out of here. We're coming up to round 12. All right, there we go. We're out of the maze. Let's make our way through the house. Oh, are we going to get a free perk? I think we will. All right, is that? Nope, that's not the end of the witches. Come on, where is the last one at? Finally, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, and we get fucking mule kick, bro. Yeah, I probably should have picked a harder map than buried, but, you know, at least we'll probably get to round 20 without dying. It's just, you know, actually waiting to get to round 20. I mean, I actually really like buried, so I'm not really complaining that much. But right, this AN94 is actually just so, like, good. Compared to BO1, it's a genuine cake wall. Right, boys, going on to round 14. All right, on to round 15. You know, I'm not gonna go prone. I'm gonna just chill right here. I'm actually cruising at the moment. Yeah, like, buried is a bit... Oh, okay, we've managed to shoot Leroy. He's not happy. He's a bit grumpy, so he's gone back to his room to cry. I maybe should have picked a bit more of a more difficult map. Like, literally, I just got two wall weapons and just was on my way. All right, we're on to round 16. Four more rounds and we can move on to a different game. I think after our next game, which is Advanced Warfare, the games will just be, like, pretty straightforward and, like, easy, to be honest. Like, BO1 might have been the hardest because all of the weapons in that game are just kind of shit, so I think this will probably be our easiest game, I'm not gonna lie. All right, two more rounds. All right, last round, boys. I've not even really got a whole lot to, to say because it's just, like, I'm not struggling. Like, it's pretty simple. I don't have to, like, train around and so wet up. Like, I'm literally just sitting down by the drill. Just, like, chilling out, bro. This will, um, put my money away in the bank. Bro, this might have been the spot I needed to sit, bro. Hey, this is actually low-key kind of difficult. Oh, and I think that is last zombie. There it is, boys. We managed to reach round 20. And we're first round 20 of this video. And wow, boys, was it difficult, boys? Honestly, I had me sweating. But yeah, there it is. There's Black Ops 2. Uh, I'm not going to keep going because I'm actually like falling asleep and how easy this is. So let's just go ahead and move on to our next game, which is Advanced Warfare. All right, then, boys. So on to Advanced Warfare. The map I chose is Descent. Uh, I don't actually know if I've done Descent for a challenge. Actually, no, I have. It was the one-hit challenge. But that, yeah, that doesn't really count. It's like round four. But you know what? We're going to be doing it today. Also, I just realized I've been knifing zombies. I wasn't really meant to, but you know, I mean, it's round one. Who actually cares? Uh, let's buy this MK14. Let's be on our way, boys. So, the thing with this map, right, is that it's going to be like a little mini boss fight. So, I'm going to have to get set up for that. Also, I'm not really sure what is a good, like, all weapon in this game. Also, I only 2,000 points and I can get myself my exo suit. So, I'm going to make my way up because I don't know where these zombies are, but they're actually taking their time. Oh, it's because the round's over. Okay, well, that would explain that. Double points, bro. Actually, free. We had a nuke there as well. So, just grab this nuke. There's 801 points. Look at that. We're at 3,250. Points. We get in the exo suit tonight, boys. All right, turn on this generator and get us the exo suit, boys. There is a dog round. A little bit spooky. You gotta go, my guy. It is the HBR A3. I might grab me that. Then I like the ACR. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this door here. If I get 500 more points, I can get myself jug, which would be a very useful. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to go talk to big man Oz. Bro, Oz is actually such a quirky little character. I think he's funny, but all right, we're back. We have enough points actually to go buy jug. Let's go ahead and buy this. I'm exo health up, boys. Oh my god, here comes the EMP zombies. Every time I do a challenge video like this, it's like, yeah, they're the worst parts of this game. I actually hate them. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna start upgrading my weapons, I suppose. I say weapons, I mean weapon. So let's get this to Mark 2. There we go, boys. Up a strong now. Alright, we're on to round 7. Making it of his ends. Oh, open fire. Okay, that's actually kind of big. This gun isn't very strong. Kind of just gotta deal with it, though. But I entered the smart for a very specific reason. It's these little bad boys over here. Contact grenades. I need more bread. Here yeah, we go ahead and buy that. Uh, contact grenades of this game are actually, like, they're so fun. Like, look at this, bro. Just like blast a bunch of zombies. Oh, okay, we've got an infected round. Bro, it's actually like slipping me that I don't know where the uh the decontamination pad is. So oh, it's in the spa room, isn't it? 
it. Okay, we already have that open, so we're all right. We'll make it, boys. Even if I do catch this little gross disease. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. Right, get out of here. How do I have six bullets left? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to go cleanse myself. Oh my god. I don't know how many more infected zombies we have left. Hopefully, not many more. It looks like it's honestly. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna say it looked like it was just a normal zombies from then on. So, all right, let's upgrade this to Mark Three, and it doesn't look like the ammo cost actually goes up, so we can keep buying ammo. Okay, I need to get me a new weapon now. I just don't know what I'm gonna pick. That's kind of the issue with advanced warfare is like even some of the box weapons are pushing it to be like a good weapon. So the war weapons are a whole different story, bro. Also, I'm not gonna let myself use the Goliath because that is a little bit OP. So full reload, bomb all these little zombies. I think I just need to focus on upgrading this HBR A3. That's such a little nerd when I like read out the names of these guns. Like, hey, right, we're gonna upgrade the HBR A3, guys. I think we're going on to round 11. It's not really clear when you're like going between rounds in this game. I won't lie. So yeah, there you go. Right, we're on to round 11. And the <laughs> HBR is only Mark 5. Okay, we're out of ammo in this weapon. I'm gonna upgrade it, get our ammo back. On to Mark 6, boys. We're making it. Also, I just realized I didn't even buy Quick Revive. 2,000 points. Why are the doors in Advanced Warfare just so expensive? Right, let's get out of here, anyways. Whoa, 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 okay, we want that. There we go. Oh, we got another dog round. We finally brought the dogs back for its own special round. Like, literally, right? In every other map, like, there's only one dog round, and then that's it. Oh, I think Oz is gonna teleport us, which means we've got a little mini boss fight going on, which isn't good. <laughs> God, this is one of my biggest gripes about this map, right? It's that Oz will just take you away from the main map, whatever you're doing, and it'll just have to fight you. Like, every single game. My only worry is that we're gonna run out of ammo. Actually, I, I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's a max ammo drop there, so. All right, we're gonna shoot him. We're gonna shoot him, bro. All right, there we go. Right, we did it. See, there is like an upgrade weapon station, but the one thing I've never understood is that, bro, you don't get any points. There's also a mystery. Like, you don't have any points. It's like, oh, you could just use it for ammo, but like, bro, there's ammo drops here. So, like, all right, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oz, bro, your time's to go, bro. All right, let's grab this max ammo just for, you know, have max ammo. This is a lot easier on solo than it is on co op. Like, it's not hard on co op either, but like, you know what I mean? Like, you literally get like two zombies. Bro, Oz, just like speed up, bro. Like, I've got a video to get back to. Like, come on, bro. Like, literally, this is like just the most boring boss fight. Like, he keeps saying he fucking hates the Atlas Corporation. Like, bro, we know you hate the Atlas Corporation. Just, just like, speed up, bro. Don't deal with them. I don't, I'm not the Atlas Corporation, am I? Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's just blast him up real quick. There we go. We're on to our very final window that we got to shoot him in. Thank the Lord. I can get back to the actual map. The only nice part about this is that you get a lot of points, like, at the very end. So it's not, like, awful, but it's, like, still. Right, is that it? Are you going to open up or are you going to throw something else at? Nope, oh, he's electrocute the floor. I mean, nice, nice job, Oz. I mean, it's almost like there's pillars and, and stairs and stuff like that for me to go up so that that, that doesn't actually affect me. I'm probably sending out, like, COVID zombies. Oh, I'm actually out of ammo. Okay, well, gonna get me an ammo drop. Oh, he's opened up. Bro, it's not fair. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't... Bro oh, you are... Oh, bro. I hate this game. I hate it. Why that... Oh, fuck. You know what, bro? I actually have to take a break after that one. That actually annoyed me. All right, you know, whatever. Just move on to the next game. I need... I actually need a minute. All right, then, boys. So, on to Black Ops 3. We have Gorod Krovi. Now, what is nice about this, actually, is I can just use this RK5 right off the bat because it is technically a wall weapon. So, we low-key kind of up right now. So, I want to speed run through these rounds because if I can, I wouldn't mind trying to get one of the melee weapons. All right, round three, boys. It's been a minute and a half. I don't know. We could do it. All right, round four, and we're at two minutes, 26 seconds. So, we've got to do round four and round five in about, a, what, like two minutes, two and a half minutes? Just trying to get these guys to spawn in. Honestly, they take so long. Let's go keep an eye on my ammo as well. All right, I want this melee weapon, bro. It's so bad. It would be nice if we had like a, okay, like a nuke. Well, there you go. There you go. So, we got about a minute and a half to get through round five. I don't know. We could do it. I don't know. We'll see, boys. All right, I'm going to sweat it up. Get a carpet. Oh, that's actually not a good drop to get. Oh my god, dude. We've got 40 seconds. I think we pretty much have all the zombies here, though. So hopefully we'll just get it in time. But there we go, boys. Actually easy, but... All right, let's make our move. And here is our melee weapon. There we go. So we got the wrench. You know what? I'll also buy this Vespa. So right, I guess we can get to work on getting back a bunch. So there you go. we got the Dragon Command cylinder. So let's go ahead and put that in. Where is this little bad boy? Drop it. Okay, up here. Oh, get me up there. Get me up there. All right, all right. So, okay, that's, that's chilling. I'm going to go ahead and grab this shield piece real quick. Oh, wait. I got this wrench. I'm also just not even using it. Oh, you bash him up. Bash him up. All right, there we go. There's our first uh, code cylinder done. The Groff module, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I didn't even realize I picked up the code cylinder. Okay, well, let's make our way over here then. And it will activate that. And it landed in the uh, power room. So let's go ahead and start making a move on killing the zombies. All right, there we go, boys. So that is the second one finished. And we'll put in the Groff module there. So I'll give it our last one. So where is it going to spawn in at? There it is. It's coming down. Let me double tap while I'm here. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and collapse these zombies. And even know who hit them, bro. And there we go. So that is all three of the Groff modules. Make our way down here and buy jug. Also, I'm not going to let myself use double pack because that is kind of OP. Let's place this down in there. And then now we can go to pack a punch. So I'm just going to quickly build us the shield. I won't use the shield as like a, it's like a weapon or anything like that. I'm just going to use it as like defense. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and call the dragon over to here. All right, so here we are. I'm not going to bother doing the dragon command strike or whatever it is, the dragon strike. Because obviously I can't even like
it's not a weapon, so at least I don't have to worry about the whole lockdown step, which is nice. <laughs> Save me having to wait like 20 minutes. So, right, on to round nine. Oh, okay, we got our first Valkyrie drone. That round. Yeah, I need to decide on a second weapon to get. Right, there's that round over, so. Oh, I guess we could get the KRM, actually. That'd be really good. I guess let's just save up 5,000 points so we can pack on our second weapon. Then we'll just probably, like, fly through the rounds, to be honest. Because Gorod, it doesn't really have a whole lot going for it, you know? I'm gonna, like, really hurt a lot of people here. And it's gonna sound really, like, stupid, right? Because I obviously really like Black Ops 3. But I'll be honest, the DLC maps are just. It's gonna sound stupid, but I genuinely think they're kind of, like, mid. They're, they're okay, right? Like, I'm, don't don't flack me in the comments, all right? Like, obviously, I think the maps are good. But, like, I think it's just because I've overplayed them too much. And because of that, I'm kind of, like, bored of them. And the reason I think BO3 uh, is... The main reason I think BO3 is just, like, a, like a really good game, probably one of the, like, probably the perfect zombie game, in my opinion, is one, because the Easter eggs are quite fun, and two, because of custom maps. Like, there's a reason I don't play this on console, all right? Like, I say I don't like the maps because of saturation and not just because they're bad maps, because I will always come back and play these maps still over, like, BO1 maps, all right? And, bro, honestly, people cannot, right, comprehend the fact that I don't like BO1. It actually blows it back in mind, bro. Like, I joined a zombie... Uh, another, like, I joined another zombie YouTuber stream, and his friends that he was talking to, like, after they saw that was in the chat, like, the first thing I asked was, like, how do you not, like, like BO1 or World at War? And I was just like, bro, I, I just I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, as I said, like, I get kind of bored just playing these maps sometimes, because I've just played them so much, but it's all really good maps. Either way, enough of that. I got me the KRM Packer Punch, which is very nice. All right, I think I'm just gonna sit down here, which is, like, the main training area, uh, and I think it'll probably have one of the fastest spawns as well, so I'm just gonna chill here. All right, there we go. Right, round 12. Let's just speed through these last couple rounds. Yeah, the spawns here are actually pretty quick, so let's power through these rounds. I'm gonna buy some ammo. I guarantee I'm probably gonna get a max ammo very soon. I've got a fog over the uh, manglers, bro. Get out of here. Alright, round 13. Oh, I fucking I told you, bro. This is kind of the same as buried, where, like, now that I'm set up, there's not really a whole lot left to say. Alright, round 15. Let's go ahead and buy some speed cola. Alright, round 16. I know I'm just kind of flying through the rounds now, but literally, I have nothing else to say. Alright, I'm just sitting here. Oh, shit. Eating my chocolate. I definitely didn't just need to drop on the floor. I'm just making my way to round 20. Yeah, you know what it is, boys. Round 17. But if I lie in through it right now, <laughs> I've been going for 26 minutes. Oh, we got Valkyrie uh, drone round. Oh my god, how did I die? Which what I get for chatting shit saying it's easy. All right, let me re uh, buy a quick revive. Oh my god, dude, how many zombies are there gonna be, bro? Yo, go away, bro. Back off, dog. I'm actually about to run out of ammo. I'm gonna have to play ammo. Oh, go away. All right, I lied. We're using this. It, it didn't even kill it. Are you serious? All right, go away. There we go. Bro, why did I get so intense all of a sudden? Oh my god, dude, I'm getting actually like, I'm getting asked to that pray today, bro. Oh my god, did you pray today? Because if you didn't, that whole meme has been stuck in my head for actually like the last three days. It's not good. All right, there you go. All right, round 19. It's our last round. I'm just gonna sit in this corner and just wait till round 20. Yeah, this game was not that difficult. Obviously, I took that one down, but overall, like, it really wasn't that bad. Well, there you go. There's round 20. Uh, and that is the end of Black Ops 3. Again, it's kind of easy. I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully it does ramp up in difficulty when we move on to our next game. Right, boys, so on to Infinite Warfare. Uh, the map I've chose is Shaolin Shuffle. And now it's for one reason and one reason only. And it might be slightly, you know, not cheaty, but cheap, right? That's the best way to word this. Right, I'll show you guys in a second, but for now, let's just start making our way through the rounds, get through round one, turn the power one as you can see there. I guess we'll open up this door here. So this is the reason it's a little bit cheap. This over here is a wall weapon. It's the katana and it's super good. So that's going to be my goal. It does cost 10,000 points, which is a little bit, you know, expensive. But you know what, boys? I believe sometimes the zombies can drop extra cash and it come out like a thousand, a thousand points. It's actually kind of broken. All right, I'll buy this UDM, the Udom, a big double points, boys. Right, I don't know if I just want to go for the katana like straight away or I want to like open up the bat. I might just go for the katana right away because, you know, it's expensive. Let's just get it over and done with. And yeah, we'll move on our way. All right, we're officially over halfway there, boys. I mean, we are already on round five. Quarter of the way there. Yeah, big double points. Or double money, sorry. Yeah, and we only have to get 2,000 more points. Oh my god, okay. I don't want to die. Bro, these boys are getting speedy. Okay. Wait, right, there we go. We got 10,000 points. Let's right, finally buy our katana. And there we go, boys. We're, we're going in now. Oh my god, look how just good it is. Oh, I love the katana. Oh my god. Damn. All right, I don't want to die. All right, let's just go buy quick revive. I don't want to mess around, bro. Oh my god. All right, let's make our way out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Go get me out of here. I'm not messing around. All right, there we go. Let's turn on this power switch there. Oh, I'm one of the most underrated perks of all time. Did I do drops? Oh, dude, this katana, bro. It actually makes me feel like a little bad boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Why, why do I? Oh, bro. Why do I start talking, bro? I actually should just stay quiet for the rest of my day. All right, either way, let's just make our way out of here. Got my stuff from the lost and found, and I'm rebuying quick revive because I don't know why I'm sucking some actual ass right now, but I just need to get um juggernaut, right? And once I have that, like we're in the clear, bro. Let's head our way up here. But on round ten, so we're already about halfway through. I am looking uh, for a piece for the pack of punch so we're looking for a real i don't know where it can spawn though i know it spawns like in this area uh, honestly i'm just trying to figure out 
where it actually is like right this second but yeah, i might come back for it because yeah i don't really know where it is right now all right so we need to pick up this flyer here and also jug should just be down here and we need to turn the oh we need to turn the power up to the top of the roof of the disco club yeah i know my way around this map boys i've not actually played shallow and shuffle in like quite a while but i don't really like the easter egg either like it's the one easter egg where it just seems like needlessly complicated hey, what i still need to turn on the power so wait, wait, what power switch is left to turn on bro oh i actually never mind i remember now we need to turn on this one right here there we go wait is this the e-rad let's go ahead and cop that get my laser gun out well either way now that we're here we can get jug but we can also go into it and pick up a token which we were in need of and actually is that the real well, that's the real boys well there you go and i'm pretty sure that's all we need to get into here go into the vip section and we put the film reel in there and yeah that is how you get pack a punch and i can also make my way in here and pack a punch my sword bro the sword in this is actually like so cool right essentially if you melee once it doesn't do a whole lot like twice doesn't do a whole lot but then you'll get this glow right and then it'll just like start doing effects and shit it's actually crazy the sword is actually so fun i can't even lie like let me do it on a whole of these zombies all right you ready here we go boys look at that shit just demolishes them bam boys all right it's even cooler if you double pack a punch it but i can't remember how to double pack a punch on this map all right to double pack a punch you've got to um get the kung fu and yeah, honestly that's one too much effort and two like it's not a war weapon so yes we will not be double pack punching which is kind of a shame but you know what it is what it is boys right, we're on to round 14 actually cruising right now all right let's go ahead and pack a punch this e-rad as well because you know i think it'd be quirky but so you don't actually have to turn on the uh open the doors to um double pack a punch you just need to hit this button and then make it to racing stripes in 30 seconds so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it but you know what boys giving it a try right i'm out racing stripes is actually kind of far away though so i don't know if we'll be able to make it but boys i'm gonna try do run kind of fast with this sword so hopefully that helps us out quite a bit go 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 where is it where is it where is it i think they're here oh that's not really 30 seconds i did not think i was 30 seconds there oh, i can actually pick one of the things up i mean i guess as long as i don't kill any zombies with it it should be fine I mean, i'm not gonna really be able to double pack punch anyways am i so uh, you know what i might as well do it and just give it a try i feel like as long as i don't you know actually kill any zombies uh, it's, it's fair game all right there we go all right, so i've opened up all the doors how do i lose this there we go okay press four what happened to my gun it's like it's still a laser but it's like a like a sword rifle at the same time all right let's go ahead and press this button there we go let's make a run for it boys make our way over here go through the wall and if we took to our right there they are now we're gonna go charge up these little bad boys so that'll take a no time at all it's gonna come down here and place the fuses there i don't know how to tell if they're done oh okay all right, i think we have to wait for the train to go by yeah there we go so now we can go ahead and pick those bad boys up and that is double pack punch as well so i'm gonna double pack punch this sword because it only costs 10k whereas that is 10 000 points let me make my way back in here uh, and then i'm gonna put the fuses in here and pack punch our sword again so it changes the ability it's a lot better now with the feral instinct I'm actually feeling like the main character right now but yeah basically same little swings and you get now it goes purple right which you know is cooler so let's go ahead and shoot into this horde of zombies and yeah like, it comes like this fucking bear bro but lies across the map bam boys okay it's actually so good that's what i mean the sword is kind of cheating a bit for this challenge but you know what we're just here to have a bit of fun boys i think you have to beat the easter egg to um to obtain the sword so if you uh try to go into your game and you can't find it then that's why unless you've actually beat the easter egg i've right, got another roller skating zombie round i don't know why they think they you know can start on me i got a fucking sword bro you guys don't even know me right, there we go all right that's that round done we've got two more rounds oh god how am i actually gonna die oh get out of here boys i got me on a sword i got me a laser beam man boys oh this sword is actually just so fun to use honestly yeah, i kind of want to try and double pack a bunch of this e-rad because you know we, we might as well over here we're like 800 points away right there you go all right Ten thousand points right this thing better be real good once i double pack a bunch of it so in we go wax this little bad boy in the projector i don't know why the projector is the pack a punch it's a bit random but you know it's what it is i guess here we go the death's cooling card and this little laser beam so oh my god bro actually does not play around actually what i need to see this gun with is dead eye dewdrops because this thing negates all of your um your recoil so it's just like a like a straight line this thing's actually kind of crazy bro with this gun it just doesn't even have like, not any recoil or anything bro it's just like destroys you got the last few zombies with my sword i actually think i'm in like demon slayer or something oh, come on surely we must be at the end of the round now oh i've somehow switched monitors uh, i can't remember how to get back okay, there we go right, we're back <laughs> jesus but yeah either way that is the end of round 19 so we will be going on to round 20 which does also mark the end of infinite warfare that is that is how this works uh, so yeah that's infinite warfare the melee only especially on this map is incredibly easy especially if you're doing the easter egg and you get this little bad boy sword a little bit cheesy but you know what no one said it was in the rules uh, because no one actually even asked for this video so honestly i'm just too smart boys but either way let's move on to our next game which is world war ii zombies right now boys so on to world war ii zombies right, i think originally i was gonna do the darker shore but i ended up switching it to uh this like little survival map groston house i think it was called i honestly can't remember honestly i just did this map because like i really just cannot be bothered to navigate any of like the dlc maps where they're actually just like confusing bro but either way we can finally buy this mp40 so now we have a wall weapon i don't really know how long this section of the video is gonna be you know we just move up all right we're on to round three oh well i mean we're off round three now but i actually 
actually forgot just like how low-key boring this map actually is. There is nothing to really talk about. I'm even, I'm even trying to do this little Easter egg. I opened the mystery box that I can't even use. Just to have like something to do. My zombies about to start. My zombies started to pile in a little bit. All right, and that is way four done. So we're going on to way five. Like this is so far not going too bad. I mean, we did like pretty really much just start out and it's like round five. So I don't know why I'm like acting like it's gonna be real difficult. But uh, I guess we'll get this STG as well. Oh, and we got a nuke. Okay, so that should hopefully push us quite far into uh, into round five. Yes, we can get ourselves a random bullet. What are we gonna get? Is that the slappy taffy one? Yeah, it is. So we got extra melee damage. Like actually the most pointless one. Oh my god. Okay, it's ramping up. Okay, okay, pop camouflage. I don't know why I started inspecting my weapon there. I actually got way too scared. Alright, well, I managed to open up this uh, this house in here. I can't even use the mystery box you now because, shockingly, it's not a melee weapon. So, yeah, I mean, we're going on to round seven, making it out of these ends. I won't lie. I think this is going to start ramping up in difficulty around, like, probably, like, rounds 12, 13, maybe. I think we got stamina up from that one. Machine resetting. Like, what? Well, I guess you can only get a blitz every round. Is that how that works? I don't know. We only need some ammo, though. Alright, let's see if we're able to get ourselves a blitz now. No, nope, still resetting. I don't know how long I've got to wait, but it'd be nice if it's sped up. Oh, my God. It's actually starting to get kind of difficult now, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. How is it still resetting, bro? Like, speed up. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's every two rounds then. Hey, wait, I think we got double tap. I don't know for sure. I think we did. Oh my god, get out of here, zombie. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck in this room. You're back off, bro. Okay, that is round nine complete. So we're on to round 10, boys. We're in the double digits. We're halfway there. Yo, I'm gonna buy this combat shotgun. This thing's actually pretty good. It's pretty strong, but like, just take, it takes a while to reload. Oh my god. Oh, I guess we're getting a bullet. Okay, what are we getting? Is that quick revive? Um, boys, get out of here. Wait, this guy die, bro. There we go. Oh, he's back. Are you see? Right, I'll pop in camouflage, all right? Where's this, um, where's this guy at? There we go. All right, he's gone. I'm buy back this MP40. Yeah, that combat shotgun was actually dookie, but oh, he's back again. All right, he's gone again. All right, there we go. Onto round 13, boys. All right, can I buy me a new perk? Yeah, and what the fuck is that? Okay, so I found out that that's actually speed cooler. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god, okay, camouflage it. Oh, camouflage it. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, we're making it out of this. We're making it. All right, round 14. We need six more rounds. I can get off his absolute cheeks game. Oh my god, I really wish we had a better weapon. I ain't gonna lie. All right, there we go. Oh, um, I got something else. Oh, I got electric cherry. Yeah, that's not too bad because I got rid of that shitty little, like, melee perk. Bro, what? You said this is us actually a scam, bro. All right, round 16. You cannot train here. Oh my god, dude, get that nuke. All right, round 17. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, is this round 18? No, nope. is this one round 18? Yep, there we go. All right, two more rounds, boys. I know it just seems like I'm being like, oh, wave 18, wave 19. Yeah, I mean, bro, you kind of have to focus up as well. Kind of spooky, bro. Plus, can't really like train around. I've just kind of got to just shoot and just hope for the best. Oh my god, oh my god, okay, camouflage. Why is it, why does it go away so quick? Yeah, I'm gonna pop my camouflage. Bro, it just goes away instantly. Why? Okay, wave 18. Oh my god, wave 19. Sorry, wave 19. All right, final round. We're making out. We're making out. Oh, is that a nuke? Oh, please in the round. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. We did it. Bro, I don't know how the unpack a bunch of guns in World War II hold up better than the unpack a bunch of guns in like year one or World at War. It's actually crazy, bro. But yeah, either way, let me get off this game. I'm not a fan of this game, so I could not be more happy to exit. Because before I die, right, let's jump on to our next game, which is Black Ops 4. Right then, boy. So Black Ops 4, I picked Tag to Tone, mainly because I think it's about time I play something that isn't a Chaos Crew map. You know, Tag is probably like the third best DLC map, which isn't a great accomplishment in fact there's only four but you know it is what it is boys so we can use this strife because the strife is a wall weapon i'm pretty sure somewhere on the wall yeah it's right there so we can actually use this which is quite nice for the you know early rounds but yeah we need to start working on getting pack a bunch so i'm gonna start making my way through here there's a mog 12 shotgun i might consider buying that all right let's go ahead and grab this blue rock here but where are these zombies at okay nah like actually where is this guy what is he doing bro all these wall weapons are like cheeks bro like i ain't buying a escargot bro i guess we got a swordfish i'll pick that up all right all i gotta do is i gotta get pablo over here it's a uh, blue rock. I think that opens up pack a punch. I don't think there's any more to it. Oh, there's a vapor up here. Actually, I want that. There you go. Give him the blue rock. Right, I get this vapor uh, wall by here. So I think this will be pretty good. But why is the spawn so bad on BO4? Like, specifically this map. I'm, I don't think it's ever been this bad before. Here we go. All right, where do I need to go? I need to start getting perks. All right, we got our fog round. All right, I need 3,000 points. I still got electric burst on. All right, boys. So round nine. I've somehow covered up 11k. Oh, dude, the Spitfire Aggle Knight said. All right, I guess I'll make our way down here. I'll turn on the power. Oh, bro, I forgot to turn on the power. I've just been playing this so far without turning on the actual power. All right, there we go. All right, there you go. Round 10. Where is the tonic perk? I really just want speed color. Oh my God, dude. I'm actually like 50 HP. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I gotta get this and I gotta go, bro. Okay, so pack punch is over there. All right, let's pack punch this Spitfire with a Sky Scorcher, boys. The thing is, right, is I want to get my gun to max. All right, it's gonna take a lot of work. Oh my God, dude. I'm getting owned, bro. Really should have put on Winter's Whale, but I always forget to change my perks when I start all these videos. Oh my God, dude. This Swordfish is not it, bro. I gotta go pack punch and move out my way, little boy. You don't know me. Oh my God. I've got 57 HP. How? All right, quickly, pack a bunch, pack a bunch. All right, we got it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna pack a bunch of the swordfish because this thing's nearly out of ammo. We're on to round 14 already. We're not doing too bad, boys. Massive insta We're going in, bro. All right, round 16. Oh my god, okay. I've only got 50 HP. All right, it's getting kind of hard, but oh my god.
my god. 14 HP, bro. I got a leaf hit. Oh, bro. Right, you know what? It is what it is. We move, we move. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, I just got like, wipes, bro. Oh my god. Okay, well, round 16. That's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, that is BO4 done. Let's move on to our next game, which is Cold War. Alright then, boys. So onto Cold War. The map patrols is Forsaken. We're gonna absolutely speed run through these rounds, by the way, because I'm putting on the rampage inducer. This Gallo shotgun is a, uh, a war weapon, so I can use it. But I might trade it out because it is a little bit OP, and I don't want it to be like a uh, only using that weapon type of uh, challenge. So we'll try and run with this RK7 garrison. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm getting destroyed right now. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta go. Bro, I fucked about and found out real fast there, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, I might have to use this guy, Gallo, bro. Okay, massive in scale. It's actually coming in huge. Okay, let me buy some chug, bro. I need some protection. Right, where are these little geeks at? Bro, they're taking a long time for a rampage inducer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you let me out of here. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. I actually do not want to mess around, bro. I'm trying to use this Iron Mighty as much as I can. All right, I think this will put us onto round six. <laughs> All right, dude, there we go. Massive difference between this and um, when we did Black Ops 4 and I was having to wait like seven years for, for the... Uh, I can't even speak, bro. Massive difference between this and Black Ops 4 where I was having to wait like 20 years for the round to change. All right, round seven. Okay, there you go. Let me pick up this. Grab this as well. Grab that. All right, and then this is the last part we need for the uh, teleport. Oh my God, they are speeding, bro. Go back off, bro. Grab his nuke. All right, repair the teleport. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, Coco, we got to get out of here, bro. Okay, we got the um the abomination here. Oh my God, go back off, bro. All right, there we go. All right, let's lift the lock down. All right, now will be pack punch that we can all right now we can get pack a punch oh my god bro these zombies are speedy with it okay what do i need to do i need to get me a, a better weapon there's a dmr oh my god yeah dude this diamite is not cutting it bro all right, i'm gonna grab stamina here's the gallo you know what i'm gonna trade out my other gallo for this one because i actually want to be able to use this gun because it is just really good and i feel like the purple one's a little bit op so okay there we go all right round 10 up to the double digits bro so i'm gonna go make my way up here we had and pack a punch this gallo all right pack a punch this gallo has made this like a lot easier i'm not gonna lie all right let's upgrade my armor i'm not gonna lie for the rampage inducer being on dude these zombies are slow bro these guys are taking their time all right there you go right round 12 eight more rounds all right round 13 i need some ammo though all right there we go oh my god oh my god bro how's that die oh my god bro yeah whatever all right we're pretty much nearly done with this video anyway so let's just get our very final game out of the way which is call of duty vanguard all right boys so onto our final game finally we have call of duty vanguard now truly what a good game to go out on all right i'm gonna buy this off the wall and this is the rampage inducer that i'm gonna turn on because i actually want to be able to enjoy vanguard so i'm gonna make my way down here i need to get more points so i want to be able to get that thompson on the wall oh my god dude this gun actually takes a decade to reload but why am i getting like no points what is going on oh my god dude but maybe the rampage user was not a good idea holy okay i'm gonna buy this thompson hopefully it'll help out quite a lot okay, we're on to round four we're slowly getting there boys oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i might have to tell off the rampage and do so in a second all right i'm gonna leave it on right because i ain't no little bitch all right i am gonna buy me some jug uh twice because yeah, i need as much health as i can get all right we're on to round five slowly making out these ends now what is nice that eventually throughout the rounds this will start getting upgraded so we can just like buy a, an upgraded weapon for free which would be nice there you go round six we're speed running boys what can i say but oh my god oh my god oh my god bro i don't think we're making it out of this one boys oh bro how are we so alive all right we're on to round seven okay i'm gonna open up this door why did it cost so much all right well i want to try and pack a bunch of this gun if i can plus i also need to craft me some armor because it doesn't drop in this game I just keep shooting just keep shooting boys all right all right i've got enough points to pack a bunch i'm going for it all right we've got uh, the chicago piano so hopefully this will be a lot better against the zombies and hopefully i'll just make it a lot easier so we're already on round eight so we're not doing too bad cheeky little nuke i do want to get another weapon but i don't know what will be good oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god okay Eva shroud no i'm out either i didn't even know that i was gone all right round 10 all right we're halfway there into the double digits and we do have an exploding zombie round so i should go by pretty quick there we go to round 11 with speed running boys all right i'm gonna rebuy back no, not rebuy it like get another version of juggernaug and hopefully that'll help me quite a lot See, we've gone up to 250 health now. I think this is what Juggernaug is usually at. So we basically just bought Jug in like the normal game. So feeling a bit more secure. Well, that's a armor refill. That's perfect. Okay, what's in here? We have got, uh, I think that's diabolic damage. Not bad. It does uh, increase critical damage. That's not bad. I guess we'll go ahead and buy this MP40 actually. Never mind. It costs 4,000 points. Wait, what if I go prone? Oh my God. The zombies. Are oh my God. They're actually swarming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, bro. Oh, I messed up, bro. I'm, why was, oh, why was I even messing around? I got how fast they spawn in. Oh. Round 12. We didn't do too bad. Bad. To be honest, I mean, it's Vanguard. I think people would be more than happy for me just to be done with this. So, yeah, I mean, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like. And if you guys do want to see more of my content, then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I am trying to hit 20k by the end of this month. It's not looking good, boys, so I need all the support I can get. But yeah, let me know what other challenges I should do in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.